Hi, in this video, I would like to share the balance scorecard for IT department or division. A bit background of balance scorecard. This balance scorecard is mainly used by the business to link business to organization goal and to measure performance. For business, they measure the performance based on four perspectives. Financial, customer, innovation and learning, and internal business. How about IT? The same balance scorecard can be used by IT to measure performance with a bit of customization. But first, why IT needs the balance scorecard? It is because IT needs to align with business. It is a direct linkage on how IT can contribute to business and organization in overall. Many views IT as the cost center keep eating up the revenues. IT balance scorecard shows on how IT does contribute to business. Secondly, to provide a focus and direction for IT project and initiative. It sets the focus and goal to be attained by IT. Third, to measure the contribution of IT to business in tangible and intangible way. Here in this diagram, you can see how IT can align with business via balance scorecard. Stakeholder needs are translated into enterprise goals. Enterprise goals are cemented into four quadrants of the balance scorecard financial, customer, innovation, and internal business. IT goals are cascaded from these four quadrants. Next, what are the metrics and measures for IT balance scorecard? There are various options to be chosen and make part of the IT balance scorecard. So you must carefully plan and get the management approval on the measures to be adopted. Among the options are to create company's value. We have financial measure which include cost or loss avoidance, revenue creation or sustain. To build customers' trust, we have services measure which include process automation that make work more efficient and faster, artificial intelligence and business analytics that build knowledge. We also have governance, security and compliance program to protect data privacy and security. According to McKinsey survey, 71% respondents say they would stop doing business with a company that shares sensitive data without permission. That shows it is very important to have a good security posture in order to maintain customer trust and loyalty. And this security posture must be regularly measured. We have stability and maturity. We have operational measures, which include the extent to which SLA, MTTR, RTO, and others are needed to have an organic role. We have learning measures which include number of certified staff, new or improved approach and technology. An example of IT balance scorecard can be seen in this diagram. Business contribution is similar to financial, user orientation is services, Operation is internal business and future orientation is learning. This is the example of IT balance scorecard which my team and I developed for one of the largest companies in Malaysia years ago. I hope you have enjoyed the video. Just remember, before developing the IT balance scorecard, you need to have IT strategic plan in place. See you in the next video. Take care.